Sandy Kirkman is a second-year trailblazer who utilizes a variety of data sources to design personalized instruction for her students. Hi, my name is Sandy Kirkman and I teach fourth grade at Jackson Elementary. This is my 19th year teaching. I use data every day. Um, I use data from informal, what the kids are telling me, um, what I'm observing, some quick checks that they can submit on iPad or in small group. I rely heavily on the students' feedback if I'm teaching a lesson and they during group rotation, if they feel like they don't get it, they can stay for the next group, which is the best kind of data I can have with when they're knowing if they understand material or not, and they're requesting assistance, then that is the most reliable data I have. And then I use formal data too from the different assessments that we give as a district. There is a wealth of data that I have for my students. Priority is always what the students are, are telling and showing me. Their feedback and what they can do day to day is the best judge I have or the best reliable data I have for what I need to do to change my instruction. I look at Lexia just to see if there's a kid I need to help or assist before they frustrate. And then I dig deep at least once a week and really go down and see if I can change groups and who maybe not be speaking, who is not speaking up but that I need to. Working on a group with the data that we do as a district three times a year, I really looked at and compare all three of them and see is this a student I need testing help with? They just don't have the skills? Is this someone with anxiety? But in here we just say test or just not test and say how you are, but it's how do I need to change my teaching. And that's really helped my students understand that this is just show me where you're at and what do I need to do to help you. Students are highly involved and in monitored in their learning. I really want that high level of thinking of them not just being told this one's wrong, but them going in and trying to figure out where did I go wrong and trying to correct it. The majority of my kids will go through and look at it because they, they want to get it right and, and it makes them dig deeper. They know where they are and they know how far they need to get and that my job is to help them then we can get there, get really close. But if they don't know where they are, um, how will they know how far they have to get or what they have to learn? The amount of engagement I'm having between the students and the material is much higher. I've had a few people walk into my classroom that are not from this building to observe and they both have remarked that there is near 100% engagement in here. Uh, the kids are excited about learning. They are picking up the material faster. Their confidence is is increasing and just the, the excitement about learning and wanting to uh, know more is higher than I would say my groups in the past year. One of the things I do with Lexia is I print out their certificates when they, they level up and the kids love those. I print them out full sheets so they can take them home, share them with their family. I announce it in the classroom. But we celebrate things smaller than that, just passing a really hard lesson. We can do class, if we have these silly class claps that we do. A lot of my kids just uh, really work to hear, I'm proud of you. I really like high level um, thinking activities. It's how excited they are when they're doing it and how they want harder activities. Is the kids are accomplishing huge tasks and that is my proudest moment in the classroom is that seeing them do things that other people thought they shouldn't be able to or they couldn't do. Oh